anyone, has anyone ever written anything for you? <laughs> probably um, in my own way, this is probably my most intense song. What happened with this song is that I was, we went on the Wild Heart tour in like, I guess it was 1984, something like that. Joe Walsh was opening for me and we became friends and I was very uptight about something that was going on and I don't even remember what it was. But Joe felt that it was important in the scheme of our lives to tell me a story that would make me rise above all of it. And so we were in Denver and he rented a Jeep and he drove me up to Boulder which is like an hour and a half, and told me the story on the way of a little girl that was killed in an accident in the morning on her way to nursery school, his little girl, in Boulder. And he kind of drove up to this park, and I knew something. I knew he was going to show me something that was going to freak me out because I was already totally upset by the time we got to Boulder. And we walked across this park, and there was this little silver drinking fountain, and it said uh, to Emma Kristen, for all those who can't or aren't big enough to get a drink. And something about this story touched me so deeply that I went home to my house in Phoenix. I got out of the car. I walked into the front entryway where my Bosendorfer piano is. I sat down at the piano, and I wrote this song. And I wrote it in about five minutes, the whole thing. So that is what this song is about. <laughs> Has anyone ever written anything for you?
If not for me, then do it for yourself. If not for me, then you do it for the world. And when they ask her about the men in her life, and they do ask her, she says, well, they were poets. And yet, they were priests of nothing. But they were legends. Nothing.